Hello guys, I'm gonna tour you to my office. Alright, this is my new office. Alright, this is our door. I'm here in front of the drop stand. As you can see, there's platter there. And we have one EC split type. Alright, so this is my uh, desktop. As you can see, I'm, uh, I open a photo of our project this is a uh, basement trough right? basement tree area as you can see there are piles and uh, reinforcement of the water tank is over there at the bottom uh, bottom corner of the screen as you can see right so this is my desktop and this is my small table here. This is my lunch box. Right. This is my meter, my extra mobile phone, my pencils and pins and uh, highlight highlighters. Alright. So yeah, that's it. I just joined here uh, one uh, week ago, so I'm just starting out. Alright, right. So this is my uh, office. Uh, table. All right. So this is our uh, drawing, the foundation uh, layout. Right. Be, uh, arranged like this. All right. As you can see, this is the area. All right. A little bit uh, bigger, you know. Uh, this is approved drawing by uh, municipality. You can see this is foundation layout. If you can notice, there are rounded marks there. That is piles, right? Right. Okay. So I prepared uh, my uh, test requirements plan. As you can see. Right, we have uh, it's focused. We have uh, uh, still reinforcement, uh, right? Still reinforcement and concrete. It's not uh, out of focus. Right, let's yeah, this is should be like this. Right, right that's it. So I will uh, submit this to the uh, consultant uh, uh, and official uh, submission, right? Alright, so that's it. Okay guys, thank you, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video, right? and like as well okay thank you so we are here guys on the basement tree of uh, my new project I'm showing you now the area as you can see in front of me right there's reinforcement wheeler beam strut vertical bars for retaining wall you can see on the side, alright, then there are, you know, pipes. Alright, so the project has just uh, started. Okay. So, guys, this is also a water uh, stopper. You know, it should be, you know, within the uh, uh, retaining wall. This area here is the retaining wall as you can see so that's uh, <coughs> uh, installed 
that should be installed uh, in the construction joint right because we are going past first this uh, basement uh, slab and then later on this retaining wall right so you should provide a water stopper there right so I also took uh, video of the casting over there on the other side as you can see you can also see some people working on the installation of uh, steel bars or reinforcement right so this is our uh, this is the total area of our project very nice huh? I went down also to see the application of waterproofing as you can see and I went down to the basement 3 rough slab as you can see uh, there is also grip coupler right this is called grip coupler right and we have this uh, normal coupler that is traded coupler right so as you can see that it's alternating right so it's not allowed to be all the way coupler in one row so it's not uh, allowed you have to ensure that as a QEQ engineer or a consultant or a, you know site engineer on the site and also if you can uh, all right uh, C right back to the grip coupler uh, I'm gonna make a video about that later I uh, will explain right I think uh, if you prefer that so please comment down below and uh, right, if you want uh, me to make another video about that and um, Okay, so that's it guys and uh, also there are uh, uh, reinforcement uh, extension of the pile that uh, you know discolorated and I told them to um, um, remove this discoloration by you know brassing or uh, applying some uh, chemical right so that's it uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, share this video guys and uh, like as well so that uh, it will help the ranking of my video and uh, thank you thank you for watching